All right, for this step, you're going to want to mount the transmission with this back side facing this side closer to the rollers. Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Welcome to the next part of my G-Made Sawback Sport build. And in this part, we're going to tackle the transmission. For that, you'll need the parts in this bag. For step 11, you'll need these following parts. And that completes step 11. For step 12, you'll need the following parts. And that's complete step 12. For step 13, you'll need the following. Now make sure that the longer side is facing towards the assembly that you've already completed and the shorter side facing this side. And that completes step 13. For step 14, you'll need these following parts. You'll need a 3x8, 3x12, 3x16, and 3x20. And on this side, we have the Team K and K equivalents.
And that completes step 14. For step 15, you'll need these following parts. Once again, these are M3 by 20s, and I've got the Team K and K equivalents right here at the bottom. These four rollers are going to be on the axle parts tree, so you'll have to look for them there. Now you want to make sure you don't over tighten these because you want, don't want to prevent these from actually rolling. Uh, in my opinion, these actually don't do much at all. So, uh, but anyway, it's part of the design. I believe GMADE does make brass replacements for these plastic rollers, but like I said, I don't think these do much at all. Uh, maybe the brass ones will give you a little bit of weight at the skid, but other than that, um, you know, a nice idea, but in reality, it doesn't really help. Alright, and that completes step 15. For step 16, you'll need these following screws. M3 nuts, M3 by 10 countersunk screws. Um, below here, I have the Team K and K equivalents. All right, for this step, you're gonna want to mount the transmission with this back side facing this side closer to the rollers. Now, since this side is facing closer to the rollers, you're gonna wanna start with this back side first and stick the nuts in. And then you can go ahead and do the front side. And since you have much more space to work with, it should be easier to get those in. There you go, that completes step 16. For step 17, you'll need these following parts and the motor of your choice. Uh, the stock gear ratio is uh, 42.8 and it's got a 12 tooth pinion. In the manual, they'll give you uh, a few gear ratios. So you can take a look at the manual for the gear ratio that you want. As far as the motor goes, I'm using a yeah, Racing Hack Moto 550 size uh, 35 turn motor. So this is going to be nice and slow 
Yeah, and I'll put a link to this in the description below as well. Once again, I am using the Team k, &K equivalents of these M3x10 screws, which are hex, hex heads instead of uh, Phillips. As always, you're going to want to check your gear mesh. Um, I mean, you can use the paper method, but in this case it looks like it's going to be hard to do that. Just make sure there's like a little slight click, clicky movement between the gears and you should be good. Once again, slight clicky movement, a little wiggle, that's what you want. And there we go, that completes step 17. For the drive shafts, which are steps 18 and 19, you'll need the parts from this bag. For steps 18 and 19, you'll need these following parts. These parts are just for step 18, and these screw pins for step 19. Now these drive shafts are 100% plastic. Um, I have a sawback 4LS, which is the link uh, four link version of the sawback. It also uses a variation of these drive shafts, uh, with the exception of I think these balls here. Uh, so far they've held up fine, but um, this is an area where you might want to upgrade, uh, but just keep in mind that the transmission for the sawback doesn't have a slipper, so uh, these these might be just fine, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so back, so far, my sawback 4LS is just fine, so I think the sawback sport will be just fine as well. But you know, we'll see. Now, both of the drive shafts are the same length. So you'll, you won't have to worry about that.
Always make sure your drive shafts are lined up correctly so that they're in phase. All right, looks like these pins come out. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there. Ah, so that's what these scrub screws are for. And that's to hold that pin in. Should hold that pin in place. Just make sure when you're assembling these that you have the threaded hole facing out. And that completes step 18. Now for step 19, when you're mounting the drive shafts to the transmission, make sure that you mount the, the thin side at the transmission and the thicker side at the bottom where the axles are. And that completes step 19. That also completes uh, this part of these, this GMA Solvac Sport build, the transmission and the drive shafts. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the series. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for the next part of my GMA.